Hello. Today we're going to be covering a multiple of k, one of the variations in middle equations that is new. I wanted to put out some videos in the holiday spirit. So multiple of k states that a solution must not equal the goal, but must differ from the goal by a non-zero integer multiple of k. And I'll explain what that is in just a second. So to introduce you to multiple of k, let's say that we had 4 as a number and k is equal to a. What multiple of k states is that you're gonna create, you're gonna choose a new goal by using k to refine and basically modify your goal. So if we have four and we have k equals a, the values of the new goal could be anything, you can add a as many times as you want to four. So your value of your new goal could be 12, because you're adding eight to four. It could be 20, because you're adding another eight, it could be 28, adding another eight, and so on. That number that you're adding is k. It can also go the opposite way. You can subtract eight or k from the value of your goal as many times as you want. So if we subtract eight from four, we have negative four, then negative 12, negative 20, and then etc. And you're just subtracting four, subtracting eight, the value of k. So now let's say we have 55 and k is 10. So we can go in either way, adding 10 as many times as we want to 55 because 10 is k. So if we add 10 to 55, we can get 65, 75, 85, etc. because you're adding k to it each time. And then out of these, you're gonna eventually choose one of these values to be your new goal that you'll make the actual solution for. So the goal that's on the mat will be changed into a new goal and you can choose that goal based on how many times you want to add or subtract k to your original goal. Now this can also be 45 if you're going in the other direction. 35, subtracting another 10, 25, 15, and 5. Now if I were to choose one of these values to be my goal, I would want to choose 5 because that's an, you can make a really easy solution to 5. Whereas if I chose 75, that would be pretty complicated to make a solution to that. If I choose five as my goal, that would be really convenient because like there's easy solutions like two plus three, one plus four, or five times one that are really easy to make. So you could potentially trick your opponents by making them think of a really long solution where you have a very straightforward one. So now we're gonna go over some of the technical rules regarding this variation. So when you call multiple of k as a variation, you don't say multiple of k you actually say multiple of k equals, and then you say a number, and that number can, between, can be between six and 11 inclusive. Remember, this is the number that you're adding or subtracting to your original goal, however many times you want, to, re to find a new goal that you're going to write a solution for. So you must choose a number between six and 11. Additionally, you can't already use the goal that's on the mat. You need to change it. You need to add at least one k or subtract at least one k from the goal. You can't use the one that's already on the mat. And another rule is that you cannot have your interpretation of the goal be over 1,000 or below negative 1,000, although you probably won't ever be in that situation. And then finally, you do not have to make any annotations on your goal. You don't have to say K equals eight below your solution or my interpretation is whatever. You need to always write the goal as it is from the mat onto your paper. Don't adjust it at all. Let's look at an actual example of multiple of K in a game. Let's assume that our goal was 12 and that somebody could call multiple of k equals six. So we are gonna use a formula that will help us find a solution. N equals G, so N is the new goal, our new interpretation. G is the old value of the goal, which is 12, plus or minus k, which is six, times x, which can be any positive or negative integer. So, n is our new goal, 12 is g, plus or minus, k is going to be 6, and then x can be any integer. Let's say that x is 1, so you multiply by 1, and it's 12 plus or minus 6, because 6 times 1 is 1. I'm going to make my goal be 12 minus 6, so n equals just positive six. 
and then from there I can make a solution and I've changed my goal so this would be my value my new goal and I'd go from there when I'm making a solution. Let's do another example. The goal is 2 to the power of 9 and k equals 11. 2 to the power of 9 comes out to be 512 and 512 is a very large number so we want to simplify that down. Now we could subtract 11 until we get to an easier number, but that's gonna take a while to do and it's not gonna be very efficient. So there's another trick to doing this quickly. We're gonna take our goal, 512, and we're gonna divide by k, which is 11. So we can get 44, 51 minus 44, seven, 72, six, and we're left with six. And six is a potential goal that we can use. We can add 11 or subtract 11 and keep going from there to get other values, but we brought it down somewhere simple. We subtracted 11 46 times. So in this situation, K would be 11, and this could be minus. And we are subtracting 46 11s to get six from 512, which is our original goal. An example of a solution for the goal would be three times two equals two to the power of nine. Three times two equals six, but six is the assumed value of the goal that we found using our calculations for multiple of k. Thank you for watching this video on multiple of k. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to be the first to receive new content that we'll be uploading. If you have any questions, please comment them below and we are currently accepting video requests, so if there's something that you or your team are struggling on, let me know and we'll make a video as soon as possible. Have an amazing holiday break and see you next decade.